Hi there, welcome in the preview of the Rust Practical course. My name is Philip. I am instructor of this course and I will be teaching you the Rust programming language and together I will create the practical application in the end. Now let's take a look what you are going to build in this course and what are the requirements for this course. Okay, so what you are going to build, you can already see on your screens. It will be snake game, will be running in your, which will be running in your browsers, but this will be not ordinary snake game. It will be created in Rust, okay? It will be created in the Rust, then compiled into the WebAssembly. And what you can already see here is the WebAssembly instructions running in your browsers. Okay, but let's start by one, one by one. What you need for this course is just a base programming understanding. I'll be explaining the Rust from the beginnings. Together, we'll manage all of the Rust beginnings. We'll be talking about the primitive types. We'll be talking about the structures, about the enums, how programming code works in the memory of your computers, how it's loaded into the mem memory of the stack and the heap. So some low level structures that you can, you can help you understand the concepts of a borrowing a references and uh, moving in Rust programming language. After we will manage these uh, base concepts, then we'll go into the practical implementation of our application. So first thing we'll create will be application in the JavaScript, okay? We'll create a very, very simple application. We'll create a just simple index HTML file. We'll create some basic JavaScript code and we'll prepare development server on which we'll be running our snake game. Okay, actually on your screens, you can already see here, here the TS file will be actually writing in a TypeScript and will create very, very simple implementation. We'll create normal HTML canvas, we'll be using just a really base level JavaScript API and we'll, we'll prepare our game. So we'll create this canvas you can see on your screens right now, okay? And then we'll be working on the backend of the application, so the functionality and the logic of the application, and this will be entirely implemented in Rust. So I think the best way is to learn on the practical examples, that's why we are going to create this uh, snake game. Okay, so here, all on your screens, you can see, see the implementation of the snake game, which will be entirely implemented in Rust programming language. Then the data we will gather here in our Rust implementation, the first, we are, of course, we will uh, compile it into the WebAssembly, but this data will be shared in our JavaScript uh, through the JavaScript glue code, okay? So here, this data will be, uh, will get here. You can see here implementations, we'll get here some world data, we'll get here snake data, snake, snake data and we'll translate this data into the movement of the snake on the canvas, okay? So I can control the snake on the canvas and I can gather points as you can see and I the snake will be growing as the game will progress. And guys, that will be your final project. Okay, so that's what you are going to build. I hope you like the applications, your application you are going to work on and I hope to see you in the lecture. So cheers guys.